This is a picture of me um, a couple years back. I was in Istanbul talking about uh, the idea of teacherless education. After my talk, one of the executives from Google came up to me that was sitting in the audience and he says, we're very interested in teacher education, teacherless education, because we want to educate Africa and teachers don't want to go to Africa. So this was a very revealing moment for me because no, teachers don't want to go to Africa. In fact, there's lots of places teachers don't want to go in the world. In fact, we, we're, we have a teacher shortage of about 18 million teachers globally and a full 23% of all kids growing up in the world currently don't even attend any school whatsoever. In fact, if we continue to have to insert a teacher between us and everything we need to know in the future, we cannot possibly learn fast enough for the demands of the future. So Clayton Christensen, a Harvard professor who's been studying this, he says by 2019, half of all K through 12 classes are going to be taught online. What he's talking about is this type of, of setup where uh, young people will be able to, to, to jack in and figure out what courses they wanna take uh, that are of interest to them and work at their own pace uh, until they complete those courses. So the role of education is changing. It's no longer possible to predict the educational needs of business four to five years in advance. So, so let me help define the problem here. We need to prepare students for jobs that don't exist, using technology that hasn't been invented to solve problems that we don't even know are problems yet. So we need to rapidly reskill people for the jobs of the future. Facebook bought Oculus Rift in March of 2014 for $2 billion. And once they did that, there was this instant uptick in the demand for virtual reality <laughs> designers, coders, and engineers. And no, nobody was teaching it at that time. Um, and even if they had some virtual reality classes, they certainly weren't teaching the Oculus Rift version. So bold companies are instantly triggering the need for talented people with skills aligned to, to grow with cutting edge industries. So at the Da Vinci Institute, we're exploring the idea of what we call micro colleges. These are colleges that teach new skills in two to three months, and people who need to shift gears in their life can do, do it real quickly. So we've projected out that by 2030, the average person entering the workforce then will have to plan to reboot their career six times throughout their life. So to explain what a, a micro college is, it's an immersive form of post-secondary education done in a short period of time. It's, it's just that simple. So since we can't predict the needs of business that far in advance, micro colleges are a responsive framework for creating talent pools to meet this fluid demands of business. So I predicted that by 2030, over half of all traditional colleges will disappear. And depending on the demands of the business world, uh, that might be sooner or later than then, but uh, there's going to be lots of pressure on traditional colleges. So we run a school called Da Vinci Coders and it's designed to train computer programmers. And they come in and it's 11 to 13 weeks depending on the course. We have five courses that we're teaching and people are transitioning from jobs of being waitresses and bartenders to becoming software engineers. At the end of the course, everybody gets a certificate and uh, we've actually been experimenting with something called micro degrees um, something that's a little bit more prestigious if you take two of the courses based on a thousand hours of learning. We, we've been playing around with the idea if you have several micro degrees, then you can get a micro PhD. So we, we envision um, micro degree or micro colleges going off in lots of different directions, uh, including things like designing parts for 3D printers, crowdfunding, uh, becoming a dog breeder, a brewmaster, a drone pilot, um, an aquaponics farmer. All of these things are options for micro colleges in the future. So the future is ours to write. I'm going to leave you with a few predictions here. The next major league sport will be video games. This is already a huge industry and it's, it's catching on all over the world. Our most valuable land in the future is going to be our landfills. That's where we put all of our raw materials. We throw it all away 
And this is going to be the most valuable land in the future because we're going to figure out how to build artificial earthworms to go through and mine all this. The Internet of Things will virtually eliminate theft because we can actually put tags on things of any value and we know where all of these things are at any time. Driverless cars are going to change transportation more dramatically than the invention of the automobile itself. By 2030, the average person will own printed clothing, live in a printed house, have packages delivered by drones, own more than one robot, work as a freelancer, frequently use a driverless car, and will be capable of accomplishing 10 times of what the average person today can. We're entering an unprecedented opportunity. The reason this period is so important is because humanity is going to change more in the next 20 years than in all human history. At the same time, risk factors are going to increase exponentially because lots of things can go wrong. And our children's children, who haven't even been born yet, are counting on you, the people in this room. As Steve Jobs says, is right now is one of those moments when you are influencing the future. So any of you that would like more information about what we do at the Da Vinci Institute, uh, feel free to sign up for our free newsletter, uh, our future trends report. And I thank you very much for having me here today. Thank you.